Hello fellow Cravers, welcome to the CTG podcast for Thursday, the 25th of September. As always, you've got me, Gentleman Creeper GD, and as always, we've got Kaj. Turn used to tonight, mate. What's happening? You tell me, I just turn up here. Uh, and what's with the, what's with your introduction to us, The Gentleman Creeper? Well, if you had a nickname, I would introduce you as your nickname. The Lava Welding Maniac. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> is that but better? <laughs> I've got more gentlemen in a little taller than there's in you. Um, um, hmm, that's not nice. It's just a title anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's all. It's, we are here talking about gaming stuff. Unfortunately, it is no dog because he's on a date. And unfortunately, we can't find anyone else to uh, cover him last minute this time. So, I hope he's covered himself. He's on a date. He's not, I don't think she goes that fast. Yes, remember people, wear protection. It's usually body armour. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, we, the good thing is we haven't got any docs, so we can talk about a game the that good is... Thing, the good thing is... You, you, that's my fellow team awesome member you're talking about there. I, uh, you know what I mean. We can talk about something that, be honest, he can't really talk about much because he hates the thing. We can talk about sports, and because especially with a certain sports game coming out tonight. Well, tomorrow, midnight. Well, you mean today when the podcast goes out, you well, ditch yeah, it. well, it'll be tomorrow for us. Um, for us, for us, it's in about two hours, eleven o'clock, eleven p.m. launch. Yes, well, I thought it was twelve p.m. launch. Well, my local game squad, they're opening at eleven. Yeah, but I think they can't start selling it until twelve. Anyway, the game we're talking about. Is FIFA 15? Yes, the year annual um, iteration of uh, football, or what Americans call soccer. <laughs> I love how you try to make yourself sound smart by saying reiteration. I can't say many words. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, anyway, um, like I said, we're both getting the game anyway. Um, what have you played the demo yet? Nope. No. So you have. To be honest, the last time I played a demo, it must have been FIFA 10, so much stupid like that. And when I got the final game, it didn't feel the same game. Yeah. It's like there were things changed from the demo to the uh, final game. Mm-hmm. And just changed the feel of it. Well, the thing is, what's it called? I, I've managed to play the demo already, and... Be honest, compared to 14, 13 and 14, in my opinion, look the same. I think, be honest, there wasn't going to be much changed about it, because that was the time where we were were transitioning, transit, the word. Transitioning. Transitioning from uh, last gen to this generation of uh, game consoles. So, in other words, we had everything coming out on everything at that time. Even though we've got it the same as this year. But there'll be more focus on the Xbox One and the PS4 version because that is their main selling point this time, isn't it? If yes. anything. So, um, anyway, I've managed to play the demo and be honest, it does feel a lot better. It feels like, um, they seem to be more aimed, especially to us, the, uh, English audience into this title because they have actually got the Premier League. Itself, they've got all twenty stadiums included in this year's. Um, that, that means the worst stadium known to man's in the game. Well, Sheffield, uh, not Sheffield, Leicester's. <laughs> no, <laughs> Turf Moor. Yeah. <laughs> Turf Moor is in. F- oh no! I just realised. Oh, what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. It's like. F- Burning these fucking grounds in the game. Oh no! Split. <laughs> don't don't worry. There'll be other grounds as well. We've still got the Burnabout, New Camp. Yeah, um, but the thing is, when it, when I come to play hard. Burnley, I'll be playing in the in Burnley. In <laughs> You'll be Turf playing in Moor. Turf Moor itself. Uh, yeah, that's not a good proposition to think about. I don't want to go in there in real life. Never mind me gaming life as well. It's like the asshole of nowhere. <laughs> but um, it, it, the thing is, there's uh, one good thing about this next gen, this uh, this year's edition of 
Fever is that they ha seem to like over years it's been oh we've improved the um mechanics on this and this and this and you're thinking yeah but for someone who plays it casually i'm not going to notice these things anyway okay they are going to be upgrading the mechanics again this year but it's nice to see that they're also working on um oh we're also going to be putting this stadium in and this stadium and this stadium so we've got more places to play which yeah, nice. but at the end of the day, when you're playing the game, you don't really notice the stadium. You notice if it's a big stand or a little stand, or if it's a corner oh, yeah. stadium, whether it's just a, got a corner on it. But you don't really notice the stadium. I mean, I always skip the, the sequence at the start, which really shows the stadium and the fat players line up and all that shit. I skip all that and go straight to my kickoff. Uh, well, yeah, I do. I don't, well, like, for example, say, uh, t uh, Friday night, I'll be probably playing through it, looking at the stage and thinking, oh, all amazing in that. Like, or if I'm playing like a final in a cup in one of the uh, tournament modes, I'll probably watch the whole um, opening cinematics of it because. You suck, yeah. No, no, it's just, I like the atmosphere of that stuff. And I, I just, it, it, it's football. I just want to get to play in the football game. You just want to get no, to play the football game. The one thing about FIFA, and it's it's true with a lot of games, this it, the the gameplay wise now it's pretty much at a standstill. Yeah, they can tweak little things here and there. I think the last major thing they did was that tactical defending crap they did about three years ago, where you could do I don't know what were it, like the ways of holding player off, like you could jockey oh, him and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. They called it tactical defending. That was the last Shielding. big. <laughs> yeah, it was the last big thing they really did in my eyes. Oh, the rest of it, it's, it's, yeah, there's been little tweaks here and there, gameplay-wise, but it's been the same game from probably about six, seven years now, Gameplay, overall gameplay-wise. Yeah, I think, to be honest, the only difference that we've seen is probably it looks prettier. And yeah, we that's know, graphical, that's not gameplay-wise. The thing is, we know it's going to be doing that because they changed the engine, didn't they? We're now playing on the... Uh, is it the Ignite engine? I don't fucking know. Uh, something like that. Anyway, um, but I agree there. It seems that when it comes to the actual... But then again, how do you improve a football game? Exactly. There is a standstill. They've, all they can ever do now is tweak things. Like to say, oh, this year players are going to be more robust. They're not going to fall over as much. Which, when they brought in a lot of contact stuff, a lot of players seem to fall over more, which is, was noticeable. Yeah. Well, it's uh, the thing is, I, I think a lot of people enjoy when a new game comes out anyway because of the bugs as well uh, for a new Fever game. Have you heard about the Fever bug? That the playground. The playground bug. The playground where ball. Everyone, yeah, I call it the playground ball, where everyone runs to the ball and nobody spreads out. Even the goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Trying to shoot through yeah. a mass of bodies. Well, the thing is, this only affects the PC version, and um, by the sounds of yes, things... Yes, console master race. Yeah, exactly. Um, by the sounds of things, the way it affects the PC, and we don't know why it does that. You know if you name your PC, you can name your PC, if you name it as something that is four letters or less, that's when it affects it. They've noticed. So, for example, like, for example, mine's named uh, Nori. Or even if it's named Gary, it's four letters, isn't it? I would be affected by this bug on the PC. <laughs> by the sounds of things. Yeah, I, like I say, I call it the playground, because when you're on a playground, everyone just runs for the ball. Apart from the goalkeepers, obviously. It's funny if it doesn't happen to you, though. <laughs> mm. Because it's, it's, funny if it, 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 it's funny if it does happen to you, because... If you can get free of that melee, you've got basically an open goal. Yeah, but what I meant is in if it's your opponent that's doing it, you just kick the ball over. <laughs> only, yeah. by the looks of things, what I've seen on the video, it only affected one person. Um, it, didn't, it didn't affect everyone. It was only one person who ran towards the ball, which is, um, is mm. annoying. I, anyway. Back to the console master is I got back up on CTG about that. Yeah, I saw. Um, who was Drift. It? Drift agree with me. He's the only person to even comment on, on that bit, that argument. 
Yeah, because it was an interesting argument, but I was... More... I brought up valid comments. Doc just brought up some... Yeah, but it's all cosmetic. It's all I want to do this onto that. I won, basically. One nil. Yeah. Anyway, while we, while we talk... All right, you want to say something? No. I'm no. just saying one nil to me. One nil to you. You kind of can't say one nil when the guy's not even here. <laughs> no, this is from the last podcast. Oh, and now we can't, two nil to me because I'm here and he isn't. So you're saying two the next week when Doc can get his one one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be two, it'd be two one, cause he's not here, so he can't do anything, so I automatically get one. Uh, anyway, talking about sports games, um, the thing is, this isn't the, uh, of course, isn't the only sports game that comes out. We've also got our NHL, which came out earlier this month, was it? Yeah, and you had NFL as well. Yeah, the NFL, which I, I think it was at the very beginning of the month as well. Um, but then we've also got like NBA, the two NBA games. I don't understand. I think one's EA, one's 2K or something like that. Yes. And um, we can count it. WWE is also in there coming out, which is sort of sports entertainment. <laughs> WWE is different because they can innovate their gameplay to a degree. Innovate it. Yeah. yeah it was- football, fo- football games now... Because it's so limited on really what a footballer could do on a field. He can't just suddenly grip up the ball and go, you know, I'm going to run to the corner if I can plant the ball there with my hand. Well, the thing is, they have tried to make it a little bit different, especially at what mode you can play. They introduced the yeah, ultimate that's... team not long ago. But for the actual gameplay, the game when you get to the game, where it's ultimate team, where it's a friendly, where it's online, the controls every year are going to be the same. You're still going to have a button for shoot, button for pass, button for long pass, through ball pass, sprint. Mm. Yeah, press a button on this button to the lobby or something. You know, they, they, they're very limited on how gameplay they can improve it. Because the game of football's not changed either. No, it it's, not like they've still, it's not like they suddenly said, oh, here you go, I'm, I'm centre spot now. There's a hole, and if you get it in that hole, you get three goals. <laughs> well, the thing, yeah, you agree, there's not much changed... That you can actually implement into the game um, in sports nowadays. They've also added sort of a let. We've got um, what's the goal cam thing called? Goal cam. You would know when it, you can tell if the ball's gone across the line. Uh, it's not Hawkeye. Uh... Yeah, that's tennis. That's another point. When's there not going to be another tennis game? <laughs> Who fucking cares? Tennis when, whenever, fans. Uh, whenever Wimbledon starts again. Yeah, sometime next, year. next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, I mean, like I said, even going to NHL and NFL, really, and NBA, because the game hasn't changed for so long, the only thing they can really do is graphical upgrades at the end of the day. Mm. I'm, the sounds of things, if anything, it's EA, though. Well, if you give it to anybody else, what I can they do? It would be the same, yeah, because in the end, it's still a simulator, isn't it? The point it of this isn't... thing is to simulate you playing a game which you, I find weird you can actually play. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean? It, the gameplay itself, you, you, you could add as many modes as you want uh, and all that, but the game, the actual game hasn't changed, therefore the gameplay has reached its pinnacle. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, they could do little tweaks here and there which the hardcore gamer might notice, but to, uh, an average show like me and you, it's the same game as last year, so, mainly. So what if, for example, we know this game comes out every year, and we have an idea why it comes out every year is because of how much the game has to change around, especially in the league sense of you. Well, you've got, you got, if you, you're, you're away, you're going to say, what about if it was just a download every year? Yeah. Like an upgrade. But then, how big would it have to be to change the teams, move to one team from one league to another, take teams out, add teams in, players who've retired, players who've been brought in? Yeah, but especially now when we've got uh, consoles which you can have set up so it downloads while it's off, or sorry, in yeah, standby, but, that we yeah, won't but, notice it. Another one is, what about, you've just mentioned those two stadiums, what about when, say, hopefully, Burnley get relegated, they're <laughs> in the championship and say, 
hopefully, Blackburn Rovers get promoted. Hoping. By the sounds of things, it's going to be Forest at the moment. Well, three teams come up. I know. <laughs> but say, okay, we'll go on next first. Say Nottingham Forest get promoted, are they going to take out Turf Moor as a stadium and add the city ground? Good point. That That's another thing. There's all sorts. Your ultimate team, you'd have to upgrade all that because of the plays, plays you might take out, plays you're going to have to, have to put in. Do you know what I actually thought of? Um, now, we don't, we didn't really know who was going to be going up to the Premier League until I think it was about a month, between, uh, between a month to the finish, end of the season. Well, we know one that we didn't know until after the season had finished. And that was, um, was that QPR. Burnham? QPR. QPR. So, I wonder how long it actually took them to actually make the stadium. I think they'll have had an idea. They'll, they'll have been... They probably would have had a selection of six, five Second half of the season, they'll have gone right. These are the teams who are in contention for promotion. So right, let's, let's do some basic things with the stadium. Mm. Get yeah, right, yeah. Like, and then we'll just go from there. And so, so we could say that you they say this year if they started doing this downloadable content, more than likely these people who were in the top half of the season, okay, we know the league doesn't work this way, but they're more likely going to be in the top half of the season again, aren't they? So yeah. the models of their stadiums will be sort of ready for them. But I suppose they don't really need that they can just go in when the the season's ended, get the stadium like its dimensions and all that crap, and they can just put the fans in afterwards. Yeah, they don't need the fans. They don't need any fans there, so they can just do it after the season's finished. Well, the like thing... like they can just turn around to say like when Burnley the shot that he's Burnley got promoted. Mm-hmm. When they got promoted, they could say, look, the stadium's empty. Could we just go in for a day and just. Just take yeah, some measurements. photos, yeah. Yeah, measurements, photos, it's going to be so we can get into the FIFA game. Then again, it shouldn't be that difficult for EA anyway, because they already do run the, um, like, uh, by the looks of things, they run the graphical side of the Premier League anyway. I don't know. Well, if you see every time when you see, like, um, uh, on the hood when you're watching the match... One minute, move your mic away from your mouth a little bit, mate. <laughs> Am I breathing too early? <gasps> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but, like, for example, when you see the hood when you're watching a match, you see at the top, or even when on the outfits of uh, the referees, you see the EA Sports logo on them. Yeah, that's just their sponsorship. Yeah, but that's it's not... Advertise- that's advertising. Yeah, but, I mean, the, the thing is, they do... They run the things like that, and whatever goal line technology is. I wonder who runs this... I want to see the spray in this game. You know, the invisible spray. <laughs> I, know, I know it's just... A, I know it's just... No, don't, don't, you mean, don't, don't you mean the disappear? Dis- yeah, disappear. disappear. If, it was invisi- if it was invisible, you wouldn't be able to see it in the first place. Anyway, the disappearing spray. I want to see that in the game, actually. That'd be kind of cool. That's some cinematics yeah. I would watch. <laughs> Speaking of FIFA and yep. CTG, there is a period now for two weeks to sign up for the first CG League. Indeed. Uh, yes. You can go on to uh, cravethegame.net. I'm guessing it's on the which section? It's Game and Chit Chat at the moment. Game and Chit Chat. You go under there, look for, uh, well, Cadge, <laughs> basically. Or basically just look for FIFA CTG League. Yeah, FIFA CTG League. And there it'll be, so you can sign up. Um, all the all the rules will be there for those when you, wondering what it'll be. When are you plan to start it up, anyway? Well, there's two... Uh, so people can actually buy the game, not people... Everyone can get it on release. Yeah. So two, two, it's going to be two weeks, so it takes to the 10th. And uh, then... Yes, 10th. 10th of October, so yeah, then it's going and then it's gonna be possibly a week or the week after that. Cause I have to figure out, obviously I need, at that point I'll know my numbers and I'll be able to figure out a fixture list and then get it out to everybody. That's cool. Um, 
Anyway, uh, do you want to move on to the next subject? If we must. Yes. Um, basically, what would you do if I said I would trade one of your violent games for some ice cream, mate? <laughs> it depends on which ice cream and which game. It's Ben and Jerry's, and it's a violent video game. I didn't say which ice cream, I said how much. Cookies and cream. <laughs> that's a that's a flavour. I said how much. I think you'll be. How much are you going to give? Is it is it, it going to be a little tiny pop thing? Is it going to be a big one? Is it going to be a case of them or what? I think it's supposed to be a cup size of it. So no, you get fuck off, man. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> not not even if it was say um when you were old old games. No, you can fuck off. Well. <laughs> Well, Unless you're going to give me a mountain size of chocolate or a year's supply of it, yeah, of ice cream. But it's Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> yeah. But for one of my hard paid for uh, games, I want something that can pretty much kill me. Enough to kill me. To kill you? <laughs> well, just, just sure to kill me, should I say. Where it gets to a point where if I have one more uh, screw, I'll die. Do you know what? That that would be an interesting way to die, and it would be interesting to hear it. Guy dies of ice cream overdose. Right. Tell the people <laughs> the story. I'm getting to the story. Um, ba- well, basically, what is happening in um, a city in California, um, they're um, try- asking people to bring in any violent video games that they've got. Uh, I think it's every Saturday for the whole of October. And they can trade it for some ice cream, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, which is nice. Wasn't the toy guns they could trade in as well? Um, no, what is happening is that they basically coincide uh, with um, some kind of domestic abuse thing, which has got something to do with this toy guns things um, that you can bring right. in. Right, 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 right. Um, but... Um, Basically, it's one of those things I'm thinking, when I first read the story, I'm thinking, really? You, this is trying to make violent video games sound like they're the bad guys, so we're going to ask people to bring them in. It's basically going to be parents who are going to be bringing this in, aren't they? No, you'll get, you'll get those people, those clever few who will go down to their local car boot sales, say, get a, a violent game that's like 99 Hence, well, it'll be dollars in America. It'll be no, a dollar, cents. Yeah. <laughs> a dollar, like a dollar, and then go, yeah, there's a, there's a game, violent game, they would give me some fucking ice cream now before I kill you. Well, it depends on how, how much ice cream you get. Like I said, I think it's only supposed to be a, uh, like a small bowl full. You know, like you can get from, uh, ice cream shop. Uh, like an ice cream parlor um, shop type thing. I don't no, I live in posh parts of the country. I don't even, but <laughs> Well, you know what these ice cream parlors apparently are. Yeah, because I've been on holiday. Um, but um, yeah, it it doesn't seem like you're going to get a lot of ice cream for it. I mean, it probably depends seems on like, what the it's, game is. It sounds like a shitty trade, to be honest. I'll give you my my happy uh, something that makes me very happy because I can kill people, and you give me something which is no bigger than my hand, and it's going to last about two minutes in this sun, considering it's California. Yeah. So it's going to melt. It's like, I've got to either eat it now, or I've got a, a, just a syrup. I wonder if they'll let us trade it the opposite way around. <laughs> well, give uh, Ben and Jerry's uh, ice cream for the uh, game. Video game, yeah. I bet you could get a good video game for it. <laughs> I'll bring in a tub. Here's a tub. Just give me one of your video games. I promise I will look after it carefully. <laughs> But what are they going to do with these video games once the thing gave them? Destroy them. Dis- destroy you sh- stupid idiots. Um, what you, I think it is, um, I'm still trying to find the story as we're talking. You yeah. told me you had it up ready. I had it up ready and then my, uh, thing decided to, uh, crash on me. What, what day are we on? We're on the 25th. I'm far behind. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, for um, fuck's sake. Yeah. Right. Um, but, um, the thing is, this isn't it, the first... It, it'll work. It'll work just for some of them. It'll get, like I say, you'll get those clever clothes who think, you know, I've got this, I've got this rock hard, uh, ice cream habit. I need to fill it. You know, I'll just give them this dollar game and they'll give me a, a tub of ice cream. 
You're making it sound like a drug. <laughs> Some people it probably is. Ice cream, the drug of the, is a drug. Just, just so many flavors. <laughs> but, well, um, the, 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 go on. I, 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 I really, really think this is just. So it's, it's not going to work. It's, it's not going to work. A lot. Of, the thing is, it's going to work, like you said, with a few people. But don't get me wrong. When I see a gamer, except for some twelve-year-olds we talk about, or we don't talk about. Um, when we see a gamer, especially in the CTG area, we're smart people. We're not going to get forward and think, "Oh, I've got this game. Right. We know how much this game is. I want ice cream." <laughs> Well, to be honest, it's aimed, going to be aimed at the kids in it that's got these games. But what happens when the kid gets home, he's at his ice cream, and he goes, you know what, I want to play that game, you're just giving away. Uh, oh, I think, do you know why? Because I've downloaded it digitally. <laughs> well, even if he doesn't, he'll, that kid will end up getting home, and he'll go, I want to play that game now. Why did you get rid of it, Mum? Or why did you get rid of it, Dad? Why did you con me like that? <laughs> Yes, now the conning kids from their ice cream. <laughs> no, conning kids from the game with the promise of ice cream. But, um, kids, kids, kids don't think in the long it. run. <laughs> yeah, anyway, fuck off. Kids don't think in the long run. They think if you turn, if I turn around to my little, my three-year-old, if I said, uh, if you give daddy this, will you, uh, and you lose it forever, and I give you ice cream, he'll take the ice cream and then he'll, he'll get it. Half an hour later, see, and he'll want the thing he's given away. Mm. Right, like I said, I've now found the actual story. It took me so long. It was on the front page, actually. Um, the I know. <laughs> dipshit. Uh, well, the, it's basically the district attorney for Marin County, California, is offering free ice cream in exchange for violent video games through the month of October in, ex- in an exchange program that mimics successful firearms by bats in his and other jurisdictions, which, yeah. Uh, the a story announcing the buyback doesn't describe how a video game for exchange will be judged to be violent. It appears the exchange is one ice cream per participant, not per game. So if you took 12 games, you get one, one ice cream. cream. <laughs> so you just go back the next day or an hour later and say, oh, I've just got this, I've got, found this under my bed. I think they'll start to figure it out after. <laughs> I know well, I'm from guess... here about five or six times now. <laughs> nah, it's not him. He's wearing a moustache this time. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sorry. They'll be, they'll, I'm guessing there'll be more than one drop-off point. Because yeah. um, if it's in well, a county, you can, not everyone can get everywhere. Yeah. Um, the drive concedes with National Domestic Violence Awareness Month and also will ex- oh, yeah, they will accept exchange for toy guns as well. So they will accept so, guns. <laughs> see, you, you turn around and say, no, 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 no. I had the story fucking writing for, oh. Yeah, so, so we, we don't even, just go and get a tiny water pistol. <laughs> yeah, I, I will find idiot. it, I will find it funny if they've got one of the exchange, um, tents next to a, uh, a supermarket where you see people coming in and coming out with toy guns just to swap them. <laughs> For the free ice cream. It would be fine. Yeah. That's probably where they'll put the collection centres in a supermarket. Yeah. So they'll just give them a coupon or something to say, uh, there you go, there you go, you can get a Ben and Jerry's ice cream now. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the exchanges will take place each Saturday in October, beginning from October the 4th in Novato, California, and later at three other locations. So it basically moves into different areas from each Saturday. So it's not always in the same uh, city. And the ice cream will be no- donated by the lo- by a local Ben and Jerry's franchise. All right, very nice. Yeah. So, at least it's quality ice cream. That's what I'm pointing out here, <laughs> which is yeah, nice. Quality ice cream, but yeah, like I said, for a it... toy con. <laughs> but like I said, it's the short-sightedness of children. The child will say, "Oh yeah, I want ice cream. I want ice cream." Come half an hour later, when the ice cream's gone, and he's Stuffed his face, and it's like, I want to play with my gun now. And then parents are going to have to say, but you give it away for the ice cream. You're going to throw a tantrum. And then the parent is going to have to go and buy, buy another gun. gun. 
No, do you know? Do you know what so I actually it, find which I will find funny at the moment? If a kid takes a game in, and he finds out that it's actually the parents' game. <laughs> yeah, but I think the parent would notice. Yeah, they'll notice once the ice creams. <laughs> think, why has he got? Oh God, he's gone into my game locker. <laughs> I'm not sorry if you're coming into your game locker, it's not much of a locker. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure, I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry, but if the kid's going up to the, the person, the thing to get the ice cream, on his own, there's something sadly wrong with the parenting skills of that parent. I would actually want to see what they do if, for example, a kid brings over a game that isn't actually meant for their age. They'll probably give some very bad looks to the, ch- the child's parent. Yeah. Very disapproving. But, uh, yeah, like I said, stupid idea. Um, never you happened. You loved it the other day. Well, I like you the ice cream. Best. No, I like the ice cream. You thought it was the best thing since last cream. Cream. I like the idea of ice cream. Don't like the idea that they're trying to swap it for violent video games. I would be, do you know what I would try and do? Like I said, I'll try and bring a game of My Little Pony and try and convince them that it's a violent video game and see if it works. <laughs> no. It wouldn't work. What, what, what <laughs> would probably happen is let me just find a, an 18 red game that's pretty violent. Um, let me just look on the back of it. The, uh, yeah, yeah it'll, pro- it'll probably, s- when it says, well, then this game apparently contains very strong, bloody violence and gore and strong language. Now that it counts as a violent game. But, but then again, do they have the same things on the back of American games? You're looking at the back of a uh, power uh, game, aren't you? Uh, is it, yeah, it's an English game, but it's done by who the fuck did it? It's not. No, no, it doesn't mind who the company who made it. The thing no, is, the, we no, have the company. Uh, they're the oh, thing in my Oz is uh, Pe- Peggy. No, yeah, Oz is Peggy. ESRB. Yeah, one or two. One of them. But yeah, it's a different um, rating system out there, isn't it? It's like in Australia. I think they've just got the 18 rating. That's why the uh, Dead Left 4 Dead 2 Uncensored Edition is going to be coming to uh, Australia soon as well. So now they yeah, but... can play the game without the zombies just magically disappearing. <laughs> Once it's dead. Yeah, yeah but... You've got, they'll still have on the back that contains very strong, uh, bloody violence and gore. They'll have still have things like that written on the back of it. Yeah. So the parent knows exactly why it's an 18. That's what, that's what that, that information is there for. No, it, it's not... uh, well, like I said, hopefully we'll get more information, see how this goes. Uh, it, like I said, it doesn't start until the 4th of October in California. Um, so, uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Anyway, uh, let's move away from ice cream and move over to music because we have been told that there are going to be two new games coming out on... Can we say current gen now? No. No, it's still next gen. Next gen. But there's no... To me, there is no current gen. Uh, well, coming out because... to... The, yeah, coming out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. First of all, we've got SingStar... Um, what's it called? I think it's just called SingStar. <laughs> it's like a reboot. It's sort of. Yeah. Um, well, SingStar is coming out on October the 24th in Europe, uh, where it is known as SingStar Ultimate Party. Um, the title will be this based retail release, and it will cost twenty three ninety nine. Um Ultimate Party will come with 30 songs, including Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe, Carly Minogue's Can't Get You Out of My Head, and TLC's No Scrubs. Yeah, um, but the weird thing about this is, there's, it's not going to be coming with the microphones, which you did have on the PlayStation 3. Uh, this time you're going to be able to use your mobile device. This is a nice way of bringing, um, other technology, which, to be honest, both consoles are doing nowadays. Um, and you can sing using your mobile device, using that as the microphone instead. Um, and the second one is, a game I still want to play, and that is uh, Rocksmith 2014, has been announced that it's going to be coming out on the Xbox One and the PS4 
on the 4th of November. Um, which is already out on the PlayStation 3, PC, and Xbox 360, which came out last year. But it's now coming over to the next-gen consoles as well. So would, wouldn't it technically be Rocksmith 2015 being so late in the year? No, they're still counting as 14 because it's still just the same game. Um, I bet there is a 15 being made because it's done quite well anyway. Um, for a music game, it's done quite well. Um, but the music games, the, these don't work anymore. The good as like parts pieces and like uh, now and then, but I'm sorry. It, well, this... yeah, I agree. They work good as party pieces. Like you've got your classics, like your Guitar Hero, which, to be honest, started it all off. And um, you've got your rock band who basically was uh, Guitar Hero's rivals. In the end, Rock Band won, by the sounds of it, because they lasted just that little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think you said it the other night. This is probably the only industry, uh, genre of games where we've seen a big rise and then a huge fall. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I think this is, like I said, it's a new genre which came in when we were into gaming quite big, and we've basically seen it go up and down straight away. Mm. I think if you went to any party at New Year's or whenever, whatever it was celebrating, um, during, I would say it was the early, or early noughties to late noughties, it was more than likely someone would have had a SingStar or a rock band game there to play. Which yeah, was... but... It... <laughs> The thing, the problem with the rock band games and all them is the uh, licenses for songs. Now, I think I've read somewhere that rock band's licenses for songs has just ended, which yeah. kind of kills rock band. Yeah, I think you, if you've already brought the songs, you've still got them. Bought. Bought. Well, if you bought the so- purchased the songs, you you've still got them, but you can't purchase any more now. Um, because of the license. I think the only ones that are probably there are the ones that you, they didn't need a license for. Which, to be right. honest, it's, they're not going to be that good, are they? <laughs> right, so, if you, you're going to pay for each individual track, so you can play it on Rock Band or Guitar Hero, whichever you want to play it on, when you, you've probably got it, you can probably download it for free somewhere. Exactly. Well, it just doesn't... No, it, it... It couldn't last in my eyes. The thing is, yeah, I... I think a lot of people are getting sick of... I think... Because when there was a new game that was out, most of the time it basically just came with a... Um, they always seem to come with another piece of plastic that you didn't need. I think most, like for example, when Guitar Hero came out, you had the guitar, you needed it to play the game. But then Guitar Hero 2 came out, oh look, you've got another guitar. Okay, yeah, that's cool, we now can play two player on this. Then Guitar Hero 3 came out, guess what, here's another guitar. But you need this guitar because the other guitars won't work with this game. (laughs) And then you had the drums come out. Oh yeah, and then it was a band, yeah, rock band and band hero. Because you had the you had the drums. I think one of them had a uh, keyboard as well. Hmm. And do, do you remember the one that didn't last very long? DJ Hero. Oh, I've still got that. I think they even made a DJ Hero too. Yes, I they did. <laughs> I think I, uh, I played that about a week or two ago. I saw the the deck. I thought, you know what? I'm in the mood to play this. It was quite you sad. It was bastards. fun. Well, I think I think the problem with the rock band and all that is people don't want to be paying for a peripheral they're barely going to use. I know. It's like it's like say I don't know, Hanksy buying a steering wheel. He's not going to fucking use it. He won't have a clue to drive. <laughs> in in racing games, that is. Well, the thing is, I like what uh, SingStar Ultimate are doing, and I like what Rockstar, what Rocksmith's done as well. Um, yeah. Rocksmiths isn't good because they've basically taken the idea of playing a guitar game on the computer, but with a real guitar. So it's actually teaching you to play guitar. 
Yeah, nice. that, that's good. That, that's that's. But... To be honest, that's what a lot of people thought when they were playing guitar here. They're thinking, oh, if I can play this quite well, I should be able to play guitar quite well. No. Yeah, but that have five <laughs> buttons. Well, and the thing. But the problem, I think, thing is, yeah, Rocksmith. But the problem Rocksmith will come into, will end up encountering, is getting people to pay for new songs. Yeah. It's the, it's the same thing with rock band and guitar hero. When you have to pay for new songs, which, to be honest, the song itself is probably relatively easy to get hold of. Well, it's like SingStar as well. You've got to pay for the new songs to sing it. It's, it's basically just a karaoke game, um, but you have to purchase. I think most of them are usually in uh, packs anyway, uh, hopefully. I think yeah. you can basically get a Christmas pack, which, don't get me wrong, if you have a Christmas party, have a Christmas pack. I think a lot of people want to sing some Christmas songs. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I, I bet some of them are songs they, they know anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean it, yeah. it's one of those, the, I expect people to pay for I think extra it, songs. I think a lot, when of, a lot of people just like it to see a computer tell them how good they are at singing the song. <laughs> And when it turns around and goes, you stop, you just please bad. stop. <laughs> like, like, what's it called? Like a guitar, di- a guitar hero did. If you miss so many keys, it would actually stop the song. <laughs> mm. uh, did you actually, pl- did you actually play any of those, uh, guitar hero? I tried. I tried. But I couldn't, no, I just went for me. No, I, I, I played them quite a lot, but I always played them, I think it was up to normal difficulty. We only had the uh, four out of the five buttons used at the time. I just couldn't mm. get that fifth button. I was never comfortable to do that for some weird reason. Because you also had to uh, mess with the uh, flappy thing as well on the bottom of it, pretending to strum. <laughs> yeah. No. on a side note, with the guitar from Guitar Hero... I think somebody, I read somewhere that somebody completed a, like a, like an action game using the Guitar Hero guitar. That would be kind of cool. He's actually, <laughs> apparently they've actually done it. I don't, I've, I've completely forgot. It just, just pops into me. I know it could be complete bullshit. I might be talking absolute nonsense. It, but that, that's if it is true, <laughs> it's, but yeah, I think somebody somewhere, it's in back of my mind, somebody somewhere has, Completes it like an action like yeah, using his uh, guitar hero guitar instead of a prop controller. And that that that'd be impressive. That'd be really really impressive. Well, well, look on internet, you might find it. It turns out it was only, it was all along it was Sex Bomb by Tom Jones that was playing on this, and I completed the game just playing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> That would just be a lot of noise. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I, I can see Rocksmith doing moderately well because of what it's trying to do. Sing Star will be for anybody that really has parties. Well, like I said, you're paying £25. Um, I bet you can get it digitally anyway. And it's nice because you don't have to have... I think that's what I like about the uh, Sing Star idea. You don't have to have that other piece of uh, technology that you're going to only use for this one game. Right. You've got I've the got mobile phone for you, instead. Question for you personally now. Yeah? With SingStar, when are you going to play it? Ah, uh, good point. When will you <laughs> actually play SingStar? I yeah, you I might be able to use your mobile I'm phone. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. But when are you going to actually play it? Now, that is the problem it's got as well. The party pieces. Mm. Yeah, Rocksmith is trying to teach people to play guitar. But like I said, their problem is licensing with, get, with the tracks. Yeah. Because you know, people aren't going to want to play the same tracks over and over. They're going to want something new. Well, or up to new songs. But SingStar, it's just a... What the fuck was that? Is your house falling apart? No, I ignore that. Just someone's throwing stuff around when we're trying to do a podcast. There we go. So, um, but uh, anyway, talking about Rock, Rocksmith and the track stuff, um, the thing is, there'll already, already be a lot of songs for them. I'm same with Sing Star as well. There'll be a lot of tracks because 
I won't be surprised if they bring it from the other games over, because I bet they've still got the license, because we go over around with Sony. They've got their own music department, so they probably, most of the songs that they've got on there is from their music department, so... So they've already got the yeah. license, no matter what. <laughs> but, look at it this way, if they think they can make money by withholding certain so- uh, people's songs, yeah. and they say, oh, do you want it in a bundle? Here you go. You have to pay us, give us some money now. But then again, a lot of the songs that they probably have on the store anyway are songs that um, have just come out. So, if words, for example, say, I'm yeah. not good with the music industry, but let's say, um, off the top of my head, One Direction uh, brings out a new song. Oh, you... Uh, I had oh, to... I no, had to you've got to... I hate One Direction. You, <laughs> no, you don't. That's why you got a One Direction poster on your wall. I don't have a One Direction poster on my wall. <laughs> prove it. I can't prove it on the audio podcast because they can't see it. Then you can't. Then you can't <laughs> deny it. I can see um, it. I can't think of someone else. Well, what about any songs which are in the news, like maybe that John Legend song? I don't listen to music that much. I listen to podcasts. I uh, hear bits of new music, but bit work, that's about it. Let's say Coldplay make a new song. Oh, oh no, even better. Uh, let's say, let's let's say split up. I don't know. Let's say U2, they've just brought out an album that's been av- made available on everyone's Apple device. Even if you don't want it, it's already downloaded. That's still fun annoying. Um, say that comes along. Um, they'll put that in the area where they can buy it. Uh, so they can uh, sing along with it if they want to. It, it'd be more for, like, the DLC side of things would be more for songs that have just come out on the um, in the charts or something like that. Not necessarily, because a lot if you... I don't know if you've ever listened to people on karaoke. They tend to uh, go for the older songs. Yeah, because they remember them better. <laughs> yeah, it's nostalgic. Some, some of the new songs are crap. No, sorry, sorry, a lot of new uh, songs are crap. Fair enough. Yeah, well, anyway, it's going to say, so we're going to have SingStar, which more than likely is going to have their own back catalogue anyway, uh, but Rocksmith 2014 will all, will include more than 50 tracks to learn, along with 300 additional tracks available as paid DLC. Um, players who own the Xbox 360 version can transfer their track library to the Xbox One without having to repurchase songs, and those using the PlayStation 3 version can transfer the, to the PS4. So, um, if you already have Rockstar 2014 and just want to play on, um, you want to get it on the Xbox One or the PS4, you can always just re-download the songs as long as you've got the, uh, what's it called, corresponding uh, console to them. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's move away from music because I'm feeling stupid at the moment. <laughs> You're looking stupid, especially that One Direction poster in the background. It's no One Direction poster. Prove it. I can't! <laughs> then you can't deny it. Let's just move on over to the a game show, uh, a game expo which happened over the last weekend, and that was the Tokyo Game Show. Of course, as always, it's basically Square Enix. A lot of Square Enix news came out. Um, we saw some... Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, what are you sorry about? You know what? <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Anyway... You, you, what? You, you know what? <laughs> what? You know what? <laughs> Just get on with your fucking story. Anyway. You, you're going on about something I haven't got a fucking clue what you're on right, about. Final Fantasy yeah. 15, they showed off a new trailer about it, um, where it had um, three, four guys going around an open plane in a c- open top convertible looking at giant monsters. <laughs> right, I've got something to tell you now. Open top is a convertible, you donkey bear. This is why I don't mainly talk about cars. But basically... You don't talk about music, you don't talk about cars, next you won't be talking about gaming, because you're crap at that I'm level. brilliant at gaming, you know I am. 
Um, also, the announced that there is going to be Final Fantasy Type Zero coming out the 20th of March in the UK. Um, HD remake, so you can play it on uh, your next gen consoles. Also, this will include a demo of Final Fantasy 15. Um, so if you do want to play Final Fantasy 15 before it comes out, here's your chance. Just get the Type Zero. Which was going to be um, Final Fantasy 13 Agito, or something like that. So now you can play both what were supposed to be the other two parts of Final Fantasy 13. Um, other news. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, some guy has basically used the Oculus Rift now. Let's go back to, was it last week we was talking about the school girl thing? Week before. The week before, we was talking about the school girl thing. Now, we thought that was going to, we thought that was going to be the most perverted thing that was going to be at Tokyo Game Show. Oh, uh, we was proven wrong. Uh, basically, they're going to be, this guy has used the Oculus Rift and some kind of device to let the guys basically feel up someone's breast <laughs> single or pl- plural two breasts yeah <laughs> basically the device is Ow. it's basically a torso um with a bra on and breasts do <laughs> i have to put the fucking bra on? <laughs> i don't know basically because it makes it look a little bit more decent mm. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, you're gonna be groping anyway. Why are you gonna have the bra on? I don't question it. But basically, what it is if you grope these breasts on this device, the uh, the woman who you can see through the Oculus Rift reacts to it. <laughs> and um, how 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 low does the torso go? It's only the torso. There's um, yeah, it goes to just below the belly button. So it's not anything right, below so, that. It's basically just the, yes. Uh, I was just I was getting worried then yeah, um, that it was going to be for more. Um, no, the the thing that was worrying more about it, and this is the creepiest thing. I don't know why they do this, but the person who is in uh, that you can see through the Oculus Rift who actually cover herself up <laughs> when you do um, squeeze this uh, mechanical device's breasts. <laughs> I, I I know it's Japan. <laughs> I I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Basically, a perverted little Japanese get has uh, made a mach- it's a peripheral it's a of the peripheral. gaming world with the, with the o- Oculus Rift. So, so you can it's basically an interactive porno. Pretty much. <laughs> So we've got paedophilia with the Oculus Rift, now we've got porn with the Oculus Rift. Oh, come on, you all think, if there was a device that was made that has got a screen on it, I would give it about, at most, a month or two, they will find a way to put some kind of uh, porn, uh, porn on it. <laughs> yeah, but we don't, we've never had porn on the, on the Xbox 360. That we know of. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Like, I, can't, I, can't, I can't actually say I've ever tried to find I porn on 360. <laughs> so, I don't know what kind of safeguards there are there. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty much what we got from Tokyo Game Show. Um, they also shown off a bit more about the new uh, 3DS as well. Um, it's a 3DS, it's the same thing. We found out Australia is going to be getting it this year for us. Bastards. Know. Um, a whole bunch of convicts down there. Uh, <laughs> what? It's true. I know. That's that's how their uh, civilization got made. They're basically British convicts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the convicts. Exactly. Fair enough. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, I keep looking to see. Oh, um, while we're talking about this Tokyo Game Show, we also might as well do a few of the quick updates as well. Um, Blizzard has cancelled its next-gen MMO, Titan, after seven years. 
So a game that they've been working on for seven years, which is supposed to revolutionise this MMO area, has been cancelled. So this is Blizzard. This is the people behind World of Warcraft. They can't John just Snow. make a new MMO. <laughs> John Snow, John Snow, why I bet they've uh, cancelled it. It'll be nothing new. It'll be nothing new uh, about... about it will be about the game. It'll be because a game gone big, which is basically uh, a very, very similar idea. And it's like, well, we can't release it now because everyone will just say we copied it. Yeah. Which, um, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Next, next one. PlayStation 4. If you have not got a PlayStation Plus membership, I wonder how you're playing online, first of all. But don't worry. If you haven't got one, or if yours has run out, this weekend, you get to play online for free. Just in time for Fever 15, which I find funny. <laughs> um, yes. Yep, so that starts from, I think it was, yes, from 8am on uh, Friday, the twenty uh, sixth Today. Today, yep. And it ends on at 8am on the Monday, the 29th of September. So you've got uh, three days to play online for free. After that, they'll probably do another one, but it probably won't be until around about Christmas, probably. No, probably when Call of Duty comes out. So November. No, no, that's when Xbox will be doing theirs. Yeah, they can coincide, you know. They won't. Um. Also, uh, Steam. They have reached a hundred million unique no, users. No, PC. I'm no. Sorry. And to celebrate their reach of 100 million new unique users, they've completely upgraded the, um, well, they've upgraded Steam, basically, to make it easier for people to find the games, um, which uh, would be nice. I've not actually had the check of it yet, but it um, would be nice. It's, no, it's nice and new and blue. end the PC tour sorry, now, sorry, PC. Sorry. We've already established <laughs> that... The- PC is the inferior race. Do you want me to talk about iPhone 6s then? What, the bendy, the bendy form? Yeah, but basically, room, there's been news coming out about the iPhone 6 Plus that people who have been putting it in their pockets, I'm guessing these are tight jeans, have noticed that their phones have... Or big bumps. Or big bumps. Their phones have warped. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you would have noticed that. It's basically, you know where the buttons are on the side of it? Because it's a bit weaker, this just proves how powerful the glass is, to be honest, that's on the screen is, that it, it hasn't snapped. But it's actually warped a bit, um, which is, you won't notice as much unless you put it on the side, but yeah. And also they brought out an update which has been taken down now that has bro- basically uh, stopped people from sending texts and receiving calls. I would like to apologise to those people who are hoping for gaming news, not technology news. Okay, okay, okay. What about the what about the new Tekken character? Yes. That there is a new Tekken character that was announced that I think it was a Tekken game show actually. I completely forgot about her. Um <laughs> Poor I woman. Know, is not really you don't forget about Heavenly and your little uh, uh meeting well, in the anyway, sewers, do you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, um, Tekken Seven has announced the first of probably a few new characters. Her name is uh, where is it? Catalina, and she's described as a sassy-mouthed talker of Latin American ancestry. Um, she'll be a vocal. She'll be vocal in game as well. Um, so think um. Basically. Think of a, me- a Mexican woman. With a... That's Latin America to me. That's, you know, that no, area. Latin America Central... is basically Mex- Central Mexico America. Or... Mexico downwards. Yes. Basically. <laughs> but, um. Anywhere it's, to me, it's anywhere it speaks free in Spanish. Uh, there's been no official gameplay footage yet shown of, uh. It's a beat up. What can they do? Yeah. Um, but she's also there's going to be another one another character announced in October who is going to be like an Arab character that we've seen in um, the announcement so we're going to get more information about that guy as well um, so yeah 
They've got to be careful with the Ar- Arab character. Not to stereotype him into, uh, you know... I think he's supposed to be, you know, like Bayman in the Tekken series. No, not Bayman. Uh, in the Dead or Alive ser- series, sorry. I won't prefer to play Dead or Alive series. It's a good game. <laughs> um, also, unfortunately, Do- Doc's not here, but um, Elite Dangerous is also um, going to the second phase of its beta on September the 30th which will be introducing another 500 star systems for exploration, detailed maps of them, and slew of other upgrades, both great and small. Who cares, it's PC. Some people do care. Not me. Fair enough. Uh, Have you got any other news stories you want to add to it? No, I've been too busy working. (laughs) So should we go? Seriously. So, so should we just go on to the new releases? <laughs> if you if you want. Yeah. Um. Uh, actually, let's go with the, what we usually do at the end. Have you got any plans this uh, week, um, game night wise or anything? Um. No. No. I don't. I honestly don't know at the moment. It's one of those. I mean, funny because I'm working so many hours. I don't know what I'm doing gaming time. Well, I've, I've finished building my house in um, Craven now. And I've done the uh, Hall of Fame area. It's sorted. It looks nice. Yeah, which, which was my idea. Yes, uh, yeah, it was your idea. Um, it's only one floor at the moment, though. <laughs> but then we've got to yeah, we can gonna... work for when we need more space. We'll get more space. Um, but, um... Do you want to explain to the people of, 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 what this Hall of Fame yes, is? Yes, basically the Hall of Fame. This is only in the PlayStation version at the moment. We'll try and find a place to pull it for the Xbox later on. Um, but uh, we do the Tower of Bling challenges, like a lot of people know. Um, we've got the um, first Emerald Tower of Bling challenge happening on the 5th of October, which is going to be the pit, which um, uh, more details later. Um, but More details on CTG. On CTG later, yeah. Um, but we already did one challenge on the 14th of September that was on the PlayStation 4 called the Tower of Bling Challenge where they had to find nine pieces of diamond to make a diamond block to finish off the Tower of Bling. And uh, Hanksy won that. So we decided to make a Hall of Fame area in a certain play. It's underneath, it's underneath the podcast... Uh, Underneath the <laughs> sorry about that. Underneath the podcast cast plaza. Um, so basically, when we do a new challenge, we'll add what item resembles that challenge. We'll na- put what the name of the challenge is, what date we did it, and whoever won underneath. And hopefully, we'll fill the hall up. Um, hopefully, in God knows how long it's going to take. <laughs> Will be, uh, I don't know, it depends how big you built it. Um, it's that area, you know the area that I've got underneath it? Yes, but does, that, does, that does gives a defined area, doesn't it, you it's a, donkey? It's a big area. Right. Um, no, we'll, we'll fill it. God damn, where's my list? What list? What for? Well, I've got a list which tells me what games come out in the week, and I've, oh, there it is. FIFA. Yes, Fever 15 comes out tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, but there's other games than just... Today, because oh, this... God's go- sake, yes. Remember when the podcast goes out, it goes out on... Uh, Fever right, 15 there. is available. <laughs> and so basically, these new releases are what comes out today ah, here we, onwards. Here we go, I've got my list now, thank you. Right, coming out on Friday the 19th of September, we have Pro Rugby Manager 2015 on the PC. We Why does this sound familiar? What day are we on? 26th. I'm looking at the wrong list. <laughs> on fr- oh, my oh, Lord. Sorry. On Friday, the 26th of September, we first have Tenkai Knights Brave Battle coming out on the 3DS. We have Air No Surge, Ode to an Unborn Star on the PS3. We have a game that we saw at E3, um, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter coming out on the PC. Um, a fantasy life, which is like uh, Animal Crossing but with um, fantasy characters, coming out on the 3DS, and we have Fever 15 coming out on the Wii, the 360, the PS3, Xbox One, PS4, 
PC, 3DS, and PS Vita. So basically everything but the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> and also, so you just said Wii, not Wii U. Yeah, I still find it funny. It's coming out on the Wii, so, but it's not coming out on the Wii U. <laughs> oh no, that's just even worse than Nintendo. <laughs> it's coming out on one of them, just not that one. It's coming out on the other one. <laughs> Um, also, we have a game coming out on Tuesday, the 30th of September. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor will be coming out on the PC on that date. The Xbox One and the PS4 versions come out on Friday, the 3rd of October. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what's coming out this week. Apart, well, basically it's FIFA 15. That's gonna top the yes. top, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, if you haven't I, seen the I, written update yeah. at the moment, the top of the chart is Destiny. But be honest, expect FIFA 15 to t- basically take that number one spot by, uh, are you, uh are you sure? Are you, do you not think? Well, people who have brought Destiny have now brought, uh, now, who have brought, bought Destiny have now bought Destiny. Um, I think now it's basically those people will now go and buy FIFA 15. Are you bored of Destiny yet? No, um, actually, now that I'm starting to gather pieces of armor that have light in it, I'm starting to uh, get into it a little bit. I'm now level 23. Yeah, I haven't touched it in like two weeks. Uh, but, they, two but they're also doing something called the Queen's Wrath at the moment. Um which it's nice to see. That's that's what I was going to be expecting from a game like Destiny, where they'll have like weekly events happening, um, and see the game slowly update over time in small, uh, small trickles. Then here's a huge update. Here's a huge update. Don't worry, the next one will be coming in three months' time. I want something coming out each yeah. week, even if it's a small thing. I want something because that's what will keep me entertained. And it seems to be doing that at the moment, not like a certain GTA, which basically just gives us new um, pieces of clothing. <laughs> so. mm. But, um, yeah, uh, we might as well close off this podcast. Uh, hopefully we'll have more than just us two next week. Um, well, we do, because we've got a guest card coming up. We don't want to talk about you... who the guest is yet. <laughs> surprise surprise guess. Um so um I've got no plans because I'll be in London in on Sunday to go to the Euro game uh, the EGX the Euro game or expo shouldn't you be saving this for next week yeah but I can say that I'm going <laughs> yeah, that's for next week This is you're not going this week are you I'm going on Sunday well, this Sunday this coming. Sunday coming. So you, next week you were talking about what you saw there. Yeah, pretty much. Me and our special guest uh-huh. will be talking about Eurogamer next week. So that'll be fun. So we've got uh, expect us to have a conversation about that next week. It'll be fun. Yeah, so me, me and Doc can just twiddle our thumbs. No, no, right. We can talk about anyway. things. Um, so I'm not going to be here this weekend, basically. So there'll be no streaming or... Uh, game nights from me yeah. this week, unfortunately. But, um, yeah. Um, but, um, tune in on Monday for the written update and tune in next Friday for the CTG podcast, which you can get on craveyourgame.wordpress.com. Um, also, if you want to be a craver like me and Catch, but hopefully better. <laughs> you can join us. <laughs> on... can't be, you cannot get better than me. Surprise. I am the pinnacle. There is better people on CTG, I'm promising you. <laughs> Na- name them. GDW. <laughs> <laughs> no. But if you want to join Crave the Games, you want to be a craver, you can join us on cravethegame.net. Um, also... Twitch, me, twitch.tv forward slash gdw2007. Kaj is twitch.tv forward slash Kaj, that's C-A-J-R 87. Uh, if we are doing any kind of, time, kind of streaming, we'll be there. Um, 
that's it, pretty much. I can't think of anything else to say, can you? Bye-bye. Yeah, let's go bye-bye. So, that is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Goodbye. Bye.